hello, good morning. Um, I thought I'd do a very quick uh, getting ready vlog, midweek vlog, because I didn't vlog midweek and oh my gosh, hang on, I need to put my ring on. If I don't put my ring on, it's unlucky. Take two, Philippe, with the ring. <laughs> um, if you've just joined me, uh, you won't know that this is my new flat. And um, what's interesting when you vlog is finding in each uh, apartment I've lived in, and I've lived in three over the past year, the best light. Now I know this isn't the best light, but I love this bathroom. Somebody said when I, and thank you all of you for complimenting this new flat, if it sounds echoey, it's obviously in a bathroom, but um, somebody said, I love your bathroom, it's like an old butcher's shop. And it is, it's green tiles, green and white tiles, but I absolutely love it. Anyway, so I'm gonna chat and I'm, I'm gonna prepare my skin. I never thought, I never ever thought that I would just come online uh, with no makeup on at my age without the best lighting. I mean, this is just natural light. There are no artificial lights and there's also nothing artificial on my face. A bit of um, lip balm, that's it. But I'm just going to prepare my face because I'm going into work and I'm going to show you what I'm using at the moment. Because a lot of you said your skin is really glowing. And that is a surprise because I've got lots happening in my life at the moment. That is quite stressful. But I'm determined to eat well and to keep piling on the products. So I'm just going to chat. Uh, oh, and the reason is I have been sent a couple of things. This is not um, a collaboration, but I have been sent things that I, a brand, brands that I use anyway, so um, I'm just adding to them. But I, this, okay, so this is to reduce pores and it's from Paula's Choice. I have pores here, which I can never get rid of and a few on my nose. So I'm hoping, I don't even know what this is called. This has literally just been sent to me, which is niacinamide 20% treatment. Um, so I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this at the moment, probably just once or twice a week, a couple of drops. If it can help reduce the pores, hurrah. But this is mainly where I get them. I'm just gonna pack this in. And it says actually on the packet, on the packet and on the neck, um, it does say make sure you use an SPF if you use this uh, treatment. So you know what I'm like about SPF, I'm, I'd rather wear a sun hat. I know that's not the point, but I've got so much sun damage, it's a bit like shutting the door after the horse is bolted. But anyway, that is, so that is, I don't know if you can see it. Isn't this what, I don't know if you can see it. I can't see you. Uh, I haven't got my glasses on, so I'm just staring at something that looks a bit like a human head. Um, and I will follow that with an eye cream. I've been really bad because I've been using my Yves Lom <clears throat> TLC as a night cream. I love Yves Lom. Oh, if I was stuck on a desert island, it would be the Yves Lom TLC. But this is a Paula Choice. Uh, let me just read this, what it says here. It says, Ceramide Enriched Firming Eye Cream. The the pore reducer serum that I've just put on, this one, also says it increases elasticity, which, when you see me filming here and here, the elasticity has <laughs> gone. So, if this is a miracle worker, brilliant. So I'm gonna give it a go. And Paula's Choice eye cream, I've always used, always. I'd run out, so thank you for sending me this. Far too much, I've put on. Any surplus I put on my neck, I know I shouldn't do that. Pat it in, don't they say use the ring finger? Anyway, as I'm doing this, let me just tell you about moving into this new flat. I can hear Matilda outside, she'll bark in a moment because I've shut her away from the bathroom. She likes, because Matilda, my bulldog, is deaf and also quite blind, uh, she likes to be where I am. So she's become a bit clingy. She'll bark in a moment, I expect. Anyway. So these are the new Paula's choices. Um, and because they said I must use an SPF, I am gonna put an SPF on. I don't usually, um, but I will do that this morning because I'm YouTubing and I don't want you to comment. So yes, moving into this flat, can I just say, I am sleeping. I am sleeping six to seven hours. 
which I haven't done for years. And I realized, and for any of you who live in studio flats, I commiserate because I have done that for 14 years, is it? And it's not healthy, I don't think, to sleep in the same room as your fridge, your internet hub and everything else. I think it just made me quite stressed. So I'm just to remove myself to go to bed. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how wonderful it is. So anyway, I'm gonna put this, uh, now this is green, okay? So I'm gonna look like the opening scene from Wicked, but this was suggested to me by Freya from Phoenix. She's the beauty expert at Phoenix. She's amazing. Um, follow her, I'll leave her link below me actually. She's a makeup artist. She hits so much of what I use she just used to bring on the radio show and plonk it in front of me and say, try that. She would also, if I was to change my eyeshadow, Freya would go, oh, you're using by Terry. She, she's extraordinary. I will leave her link below. She brought this in, and as I say, it looks like stage makeup for Wicked. It's extraordinary. This is called Rosalique, and it's the anti-redness miracle formula, but it has an SPF of, I think it's, 20. I think it's SPF 20, my eyes are so bad. Just have a look at the colour of this. You'll just, all of you will go, what on earth? There. But, what it does, and I love this, is because <clears throat> I have got so much uh, discolouring because of my sunbathing habits during the 70s. Did anyone listen to the the show we did to celebrate 50 years of BBC Radio London. It's, it's on BBC Sounds. We just played 70s music. So many people calling in talking about sunbathing with foil to reflect the sun up. So we literally fried. Anyway, this is amazing stuff. It's SPF and it tones out the redness and all the discoloration. I could be doing this blindfolded. I actually, I can't, I need to get a big mirror that I can look in and see. So yeah, that is uh, wonderful stuff. And now this, I don't even know if Phoenix do this anymore. You're gonna to have to look online. This is something else Freya brought in, which is pinch of color. I go on and on about it. When I arrived on my show yesterday, my producer, Elisa said, what have you done? You, your skin is literally glowing, this. Um, along with the skin products. But this is Pinch of Colour, I've talked about it. It's sustainable, what does that mean? What does that mean? It doesn't use water, so it's not using water. I don't know how they've made a product without any water that is so <sighs> hydrating. It is a colourless, look, there's no colour to it. Um, it is a highlighter, but all I do is I put here and I put here. I'll stop doing the mouth that I do. So it just sort of picks up. Um, and I am gonna make an attempt to put in the um, cover in. Do you know, I've got a new concealer. I will be strictly honest. And this, you know, I paid for this, so I'm gonna be strictly honest. I'm not that keen on this, this is by Terry. Oh, is it? No, it's not by Terry. It's Shantikai. So sorry. It's a Shantikai concealer. Not by Terry. It's Shantikai. I love Shantikai, but I find it really difficult to get the lid off. I know that's a... Oh, Lord, Joe, your priorities. When I've applied it, I love it. But, um, yeah, getting the lid off. So I'm just going to put a bit of this on. Just to show you... I will still look like a maggot because I haven't got any uh, mascara on or brows. Oh my gosh, I've got a great big green piece of that Rosalie. But see how it rubs in? So I did a whole piece to camera with a green smudge. But, so all I'm saying to you is look at my skin. No artificial lights. There are wrinkles. There are you know, brown patches, pigmentation, pores, which I'm hoping this is sorted, um, bags, which I'm hoping this is sorted,
But look at the glow, girls and boys. Look at the glow. That's it, I'm off to work. So that's my midweek vlog. Um, don't forget, I'll post on Sunday. And I will leave links below. Let me know your thoughts. And I'm so happy to be in this flat. Especially in what is looking like a um, old time butcher shop.